Barcelona won it all under the tutelage of Pep Guardiola. While talent was fundamental to their success, so was the discipline of his players. Pep immediately imprinted his philosophy on the side and gave precise instructions to his charges. But one demand he made of Dani Alves fell on deaf ears, much to the benefit of Barca's Argentine magician. This is the story of how Dani Alves disobeyed Guardiola to help Messi thrive. All-time great. We'll save you the effort of looking it up. The most decorated professional footballer in history is the one and only Dani Alves. Since making his debut in 2001 back in his native Brazil, Alves has lifted 43 trophies. The math is easy. That's two trophies every year. All the more impressive considering some stars go entire careers without a single one. His domestic medal haul consists of nine league titles in Spain, Italy, and France, three Champions League, two UEFA Cups, predecessor of the Europa League, and three Club World Cups. With Brazil, the right back has added two Copa America, two Confederation Cup, and Olympic gold in Tokyo. Only one has escaped his clutches, the most prestigious, the World Cup. So, what's his secret? I think the key to my success in football and outside is my dedication, which is the same today as it was when I was 20. He also had the fortune of playing for some of the world's biggest clubs. His time at Barcelona proved the most fruitful, winning more than 20 trophies in eight years. The Catalans carried out Pep's instructions to a T. That was until Dani Alves decided to disobey his demands, but as you'll soon see, it was a choice well made. Pep is a disciple of the great Johan Cruyff and was the midfield fulcrum in the Dutchman's dream team of the 90s. Their shared philosophy is one based on positional rotation and fluidity. As dictates, when the ball is lost, the system becomes compact and the players press the ball intently, killing the hopes of their opponents. To maximize efficiency, Guardiola favors his side to play the ball inside as opposed to out wide, a principle all the more logical when you possess maestros such as Xabi, Iniesta, and Busquets on your side. But on multiple occasions, Dani Alves would go against the wish of his coach. I used to make a pass that Guardiola still doesn't like to this day, from the fullback to the winger. Despite Guardiola's protests, the Brazilian explained his reasoning. Guardiola moaned at me, but I spoke to him, and I told him, no, mister, I'm sorry, but if Messi doesn't touch the ball for two minutes, he becomes disconnected from the game. The marauding right back enjoyed a devastating partnership with the Argentine. When La Pulga drifted over to Alves' flank, the Brazilian would pander to his demands and feed the ball back to him. Seeing as Messi needs to be ready to win us the game, he needs to keep his head in the match. So, it's up to me to involve him in the game. This anecdote is testament to Alves' awareness and intelligence but also to his willingness to sacrifice himself for his team, even if it means disobeying his manager. Alves may have disobeyed his coach, but it was for the betterment of his side and their star man. When we consider how many trophies they won and how many plaudits they received, we can say with certainty that he made the right call. Pep Guardiola had another infamous run-in with a former player, but this incident has had much more serious ramifications, as it has prevented him from winning the Champions League for more than 10 years. Click here to check out our video on how Yaya Toure inflicted a curse on his former manager. That's all from us, but see you soon for a new video on Oh My Goal!